Hey everybody, so today I have this MacBook in. And you can see it's a folder icon. So, anyone been following the channel, you understand that there could be a lot of issues with these. Uh, we made other videos describing what type of issues this can be. Um, this is the A1706, I believe it's the 2017 uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, this one is the one with the touch bar. And it's not the one that does have that removable module that you can pop out. That's a non-touch bar version. It has lots of problems uh, with an OS or anything like that. So uh, what we want to do is we just want to kind of go ahead and look into this one and uh, see really what we can do. So I do have here a few um, test ones. I'm going to be using Mojave. Uh, we want to do Mojave too because this one most likely came factory installed Mojave. Um, because that's probably what it came back in the day so if we want to match the hard drive and match and not get it locked out or not see just update in the side there we want to see if we can just connect Mojave so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in see if it at least comes up here thing but you can see there's Mojave that's our test bootable let's go ahead and boot to that and see if it's gonna go ahead and work and it shows the Apple logo I don't know if it's gonna go all the way but we'll go ahead and see if it's gonna go work okay so it comes up here and this actually did come up um, when it didn't boot right away it's saying a critical software update is required for your mac to install these updates you need to connect to a network so i guess uh, this is my offline uh, usb here that's connected via dongle and i guess we can't if we're in some you know, parallel universe where we don't have any wi-fi internet i guess we're out of luck here but anyways let's go ahead i'm gonna go put this in and we'll see if it'll at least do an update I don't know why it would need to update because this is an older firmware. Uh, usually this uh, can be a problem maybe with some type of hard drive. And let's see, we're getting a network issue here. It says a critical software update is required to update Mac, but a network issue encountered was encountered while installing this update. Your Mac cannot be used until the update is installed. So let's try it again. Okay, so I did try Mojave. I did try HiSura. Um, and I'm still getting the same problem every single time. Okay, I'm going to turn on and hit Command R. Now we're going to do the do it the right way, and it's going to go into recovery mode. And I'm going to go ahead and see if uh, you see that. So it goes to this. Now it says choose network. I'm going to go enter the credentials in and see if it's going to load this time. Uh, good news so far. I think we're okay. I don't know. We got here. Uh, let's see if we can see the drive. I'm curious. So this has a very old OS. Okay, so it does, it may make sense that it wants to do a recovery. I can't believe this factory firmware has High Sierra on it. I did try High Sierra though. I had the same thing where I needed to update. Let's go to Disk Utility. Let's continue and see if we can see it here. Ah, ha, now we see. So there is no drive detected. You see that? There's no drive here. And this is the model where it's baked into it. Um, uh, there must be some type of damage. There must be some something going on if there's no drive here. Has to be something. Because um, the drive is on the is included in the logic board itself there. I don't see where it might be. Unless it's just not detecting it because it doesn't see anything. Maybe some type of startup. Nope. See the firmware. Security's off. I've been trying all my bootables. None of them are working. So uh, they're not showing um, any disk that's here. Actually, I want to try. Let's just try the terminal command. Um, I think it's like disk util, is it list? I think, yeah, okay, there you go. So even here, it doesn't show anything. The 65 gig, 61.5, that's my bootable Mac OS Big Sur installer. And it doesn't show any other thing. These are just disk images. They're not actual uh, drives here. So it doesn't even show even in terminal, it doesn't show any drive or anything else there. Um, this most likely is some type of hardware problem. So we even took a look, we opened the board, took a look at the components there to see if there's any liquid damage, anything really obvious to really see. There's a few areas that are really easy to damage. Uh, there's a piccolo circuit, that's what we're going to call it. It's not Planet Namek or anything, but there is one. Let's actually show you guys on, uh, on the board view here. See, this is the PVVIN 2V7 NAND. Uh, rail here and uh, all and this pro point is usually gets impacted if there's any type of uh, liquid damage that's usually a pretty good indication and especially if you see it turning on and that there still is a folder icon and we look for usually liquid damage this usually gets impacted by liquid damage or if there's uh, any loose solder we try to just see if we could just reconnect and make sure it's not um, a little bit loose there that still didn't fix it as well we also tried there's one it's called the the u9400 and you could see how important this is actually to uh, the NAND flash and how it connects to it as well. 
but there's no liquid damage. There's no um, problems with the connection. Everything looks to be pretty healthy. Everything measures pretty well. We also did one last thing. We did try dipping in ultrasonic because sometimes it could get underneath um, certain components that you really just can't see. Maybe there's a little spot somewhere that's just shorting something out. Um, that didn't work as well. We're still getting <laughs> the same thing there. But we really tried everything we really could, and we kind of deemed this one as a dead SSD, and there's not really a whole lot you can do. For these models, it does happen. Everything is integrated to the board itself here. And if you have a problem, obviously you just can't remove it, replace it. It's not very easy like that. Um, these ones also have integrated CPU, GPU, which a lot of laptops do anyway, but the RAM as well, especially the SSD. It's a big problem, especially if you're worried about data, if something does go wrong, because there's lots of things that can go wrong, not just to the NAND flash itself, but any other components that do have a circuit going to that and powering it on and reading data, as you can see the other resistors that we showed there but it's just unfortunate that there really isn't a, a fix for this especially if the nan flash is dead you can't just swap out the nan flash in here anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video found this video at least informative and um if you did please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content we do lots of mac liquid spill repairs we'll also show you guys a lot of cool software stuff that we really do see anyways thanks a lot for watching take care